Hi guys, my name is Abhay Patan and today I am going to discuss the vertebro basal artery. So let us begin. So, introduction: the vertebral basal arteries are an essential part of of a circulatory system in the in the human body. They are a pair of arteries that supply blood to brain, uh, the posterior part of part of the brain, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. These arteries are a part of a vertebral basal system, which is one of the two main ma major systems supplying blood blood to the brain. The other being the carotid carotid system. And guys, uh, which artery supplies the supplies the blood blood to the brain? ICA or ECA? It is ICA. Okay, internal carotid artery. Okay. Now. Let us talk about the origin of the vertebral artery. So, uh, we can trace the path of, path of this vertebral artery back to the first part of the subclavian artery. Actually, this uh, subclavian artery is is uh, divided into three parts. Okay, uh, the first part gives uh, gives off this vertebral artery. Then this vertebral artery it ascends upwards uh, from the transverse foramina of the CC of the cervical vertebra 6 to to cervical vertebra 1 okay and um, through the through the process called as a transfer foramen okay or vertebral foramen or or this uh, um, foramen transfer same these all names indicate the same thing okay now yeah so uh, as this uh, this uh, artery is 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 uh, approaching towards the brain it gives it gives off several branches okay including the spinal branches muscular branches and fourth part okay now this fourth part of the of the vertebral artery it gives off meningeal branches anterior spinal artery posterior spinal artery posterior inferior cerebral artery and the medullary branch okay so these all are, so these all are the branches of the vertebral artery okay now coming to the basal artery so the left and the right vertebral artery they come in from the basal artery okay and basal artery has various branches like the ica uh, which is called as a anterior inferior cerebral artery okay uh, this is the first branch then second is the pontan branch then third is the superior Cerebellar, cerebellar artery and fourth is the posterior cerebral artery which takes part in the circle of willis okay this diagram is the excellent diagram uh, uh, rep representing the inferior, inferior view of the arterial supply of the brain okay so as you can see these are the vertebral arteries okay uh, they come from the for, from the um from this uh, uh service uh, from the foramen transferrum of the of the c6 to c1 vertebra and uh, and through the through, through the foramen magnum it ascends upwards and gives off the this um posterior inferior cerebral artery okay anterior spinal artery okay and 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 yeah okay then this vertebral artery they 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 you know um they unite and form the basal artery this uh, this uh, this uh, red one okay and this this basal artery it gives off several branches like the uh this is the basal artery okay so it gives off the branches like the anterior inferior antero inferior cerebral artery okay uh, then we have got the pontan artery, pontan branches, and the superior cerebellar artery. Okay, and most more most important importantly, the um, the major branch of the of the of this uh, uh of this uh, basal artery is the posterior cerebral artery. Okay, which takes part in the sarcophilus. Okay, so this is the posterior cere cerebral artery, cerebral. Okay, yeah. Now we will uh, now we will discuss the um, the relation of this uh, artery with the cerebral fillets. 
again we have got the arteries of the brain inferior view inferior view of the brain so so as you can see in this diagram this is the posterior cerebral artery which is the branch of the basal artery okay so yeah see how see how this uh, basal artery is anastomosing with the uh, with this posterior com communicating artery which is in indeed the branch of this internal carotid artery okay in case if you if you haven't watched my video about the internal carotid artery i will i will um, give the link in the in the description you can check it out okay and then uh, yeah posterior communicating artery this one right here okay and this communicates with the with the um uh with the ic that is the internal carrier artery uh, see how how beautiful it is yeah this is the anterior cerebral artery anterior cerebral artery see this one this one hole this is the middle cerebral artery this is the posterior cerebral artery this is the posterior communicating artery this is the anterior com communicating artery okay so that's it for today guys and thank you for watching and bye and remember to subscribe kar jaldi theek hai na